Today is Zoe and Wally's second day of clicker training ever. Zoe is working on getting Wally used to the motions and the sounds that come with the tarp. Part of the reason that we decided to work with the tarp today was to prepare Wally for saddling. We're hoping that if he gets used to something pretty spooky like a tarp, that he'll be more confident with saddling and later with riding. Today we're just working with the tarp on the ground, but eventually we'll build up to having Wally carry it on his back. Tarps present a pretty big challenge for horses, and one of the things that you can do when you have a spooky object like this is to retreat from the horse carrying the object. Horses are naturally more curious about things moving away from them, so we ask Wally to follow the tarp and he gets clicked every time he catches it. At first, Zoe just clicks Wally for catching the tarp with his nose, but eventually she builds up duration and asks him to keep his th nose on the tarp longer and longer for one click and treat. Then she changes her criteria and Wally needs to put a foot on it to get Zoe to stop the tarp and give him a click and a treat. One of the ways that we helped Wally to become braver with putting his feet on things was to play the bucket game with him. When you play the bucket game, you get a bucket that smells really good like grain, and you click the horse for doing absolutely anything to the bucket. And pretty soon they tip it over, rub it with their head, and eventually will try hitting it with a foot or two. And when they realize that all of this results in a click, they learn to use their feet to experiment with things just like they would use their noses. Wally is still very much about just putting a foot on the tarp and pulling it away very quickly. He's sort of stomping it as opposed to um, showing any inclination to actually stay on the tarp. So he's always going to keep retreating with it and actually try retreating at the trot. Usually if your horse will trot after an object, they're pretty ready to work on it in a stationary setting and possibly have you approach them with it as opposed to them approaching the object of their own accord. Here Zoe is asking Wally to step just a little bit further onto the tarp and you can see that the second Wally puts his foot even the littlest bit further than it was before, Zoe clicks and is right there with the treat. She asks him again to come just a little bit further than he had the previous time and again he gets rewarded with a click and a treat. After Wally gets all four feet on the tarp, Zoe will begin building up the amount of time that he can stand on it. But for now, we'll build distance first and add in duration later.